All right, time to feast. This one's mine? Yes. Oh shit, sorry. I got fat fingers. <laughs> We're getting Monday drunk. It, but Corey, tell him what we're drinking. We've got ourselves some Firestone Union Jack West Coast style IPA. Let me see if we got a little, oh, 7%. Oh, let's get sauced, babies. ABV, that's pretty good. And you know what I like about this can is that they really put front and center that lion fighting that bear. And I can once again, I'm not saying I'm sexually aroused by this. Yes, you stimulated, are. Yes, you are. But that bear six pack gets <laughs> me going, bro. <laughs> what? Dude, you're a big ab guy, huh? You know what it reminds me of? What? Do you remember this commercial from like 15 years ago? There's a fisher who fought a bear for its fish. At the river mouth, the bears catch only the tastiest, most tender salmon. Which is exactly what we at John West want. John West endured the worst to bring you the best. In a commercial? Yeah, and he kicked it in the dick. Yeah. Gonna slide these beers into a koozie. Look at that. Look at it. That looks good. Oh, and look at that. Oh, the back of it has the... <laughs> look, we give you both. Every single person that's a fan of this show that doesn't own one of these koozies... You're gonna kill them? <laughs> Dude, you bet that would do some weird... You know, some... Like, I feel like there's... Serial killers have like weird murder traditions. Mm -hmm. Like I just got wa done watching Sharp Objects and they pull the teeth out oh, of these little sure kids. Do, yeah. I can just imagine the weird things you do. Like, dude, he just eats, always eats all the belly button lint. Call me the belly button strangler. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Today we got a, a four pack of sauces that Corey snagged off Amazon, right? Off the old Amazon. So we'll, we'll put the affiliate link in the bottom. Yes, yeah, so if you want these, if we end up liking them, we got the affiliate link below. What's our first one? Uh, so the Matooks, I think is the brand. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Matooks. And uh, first up, we've got their West Indian Hot Sauce Salsa Picante and Antelanas. Antelana. Antelana. And keep in mind, and these are now. these are made in Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, that's what's up, bro. So we're not just having, you know, sauces go, from uh, North Carolina like usual. We really drench these in sauce, you guys. Look at how much this one is just <laughs> drenched. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh, Shawnee's gonna be hurting. Yeah, because that's hot. That's the first one? Mmm. Phenomenal taste. That's really good. Oh, man. Dude, the first ingredient is papaya. And then aged pickled scotch bonnet. We love scotch bonnet. Mm. Dude, that's a really good hot sauce. But if this is the most mild, this is gonna be a rough day. Should we also add our Venmos below for the hospital bill? Yes, please. Wait, Trinidad and Tobago's in Wisconsin? No, we thought that last time. West Indies. West Indies. Mm. My lips are pa -pa 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 peppered up, dude. Guess how many calories this has. For what? For this hot sauce. A tablespoon? A whole bottle. 12, 20. Zero. Oh wow. This says, How's that even possible? This says amount per serving, zero calories. How's that even possible? Seems maybe it's like celery where you're losing. Maybe it's like negative calories. Next up, we that was a odd transition. It's fine. Sorry about that. No big deal. Next up we got uh mat oh calypso sauce. Salsa calypso hot 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 picante. So when I ordered these, I looked up like good hot sauces and this specific not this is brand, but this is the hot sauce that came up. Okay. And then I bought all their brands. So this is supposed to be, I think, like their out of all four of these, this is like their one. Oh, okay. This is supposed to be like their best. Yeah, this is their flagship sauce. Flagship. So, uh, Calypso. Hot, hot, hot. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. That has a really good taste. That's unique. These have both been so good. Oh, man. So hot. Wow, dude. That's fantastic. I really like that. I like that. Oh my god. There's so many layers of flavors. Great thickness too in the sauce. We love thicker sauces. Mm -hmm. Any of that watery stuff, get out of here. Anybody can make a sauce watery. And I love how unique that is. That's not like, uh, I can't, 
I don't, I can't put that in any other like hot sauce realm. What's the first ingredient? Pimento incurtado y anjado. Oh, pim then it has it in English. Pimento scotch bonnet. Wow. Oh, scotch bonnet peppers are so tasty. I just think of a pepper wearing a little bonnet. Yeah. It's so cute. Dude, that is, that's one of my, this is a good hot sauce. Holy smokes, that is a fantastic hot sauce. That's a great flavor to heat, both of these first two. Wow. That's a, I think this is a better flavor than that one. Heats are kind of similar to me. Yeah, I would end our friendship over that sauce. Mm -hmm. I'd take it. I mean, why? We can still be friends and both like it. But... No, I gotta cut you out. <laughs> Damn, that sucks for me. <laughs> All right, this next one, Matuk's Hot Pepper Sauce Salsa Picante. This one has the uh, hot meter going damn near close to the end. Uh -oh. This one has um, also the pickled scotch bonnets, but then some uh, cornstarch and onion powder and all kinds of soybean oil. This one's got a little uh, mango habanero look to it. Oh, yeah, it does. Love scotch bonnet. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. That's great, too. Mm-hmm. Good flavor. People in Trinidad don't mess around. Oh, mm -mm. Wow. Oh, my nose. Okay. Here's the thing I'm happy about. I thought that might be too hot. Me too. Not so bad. We've been it's dancing with hot. Scott Bonnets, which I think, you know, those are hot. There's like hundreds of thousands of Scoville. This next one is the one that's going to be the true test. Yeah. Trinidad scorpion peppers have always been the boss. Mm -hmm. That we have a checkpoint. We keep playing the boss. We just haven't moved to the next level because we've never been comfortable with what this thing packs. This is Trinidad Scorpion Pepper Sauce Salsa Picante Fiery Hot. I don't like that I see fire extinguishers on the label. That makes me feel like I'm gonna have a problem with this. West Indian Herbs. Oh, watch this. Corey, it's got garlic though. I'm gonna instantly stab the smaller of the two pieces of chicken. This is gonna hurt. That's a big boy. Look at how big this chicken is. That is a big boy, bro. This thing did steroids. Trinidad Cheers. Scorpion, cheers. Scorpion peppers are so gross. Yeah, the flavor I don't like as much as scotch bonnet. Scorpion pepper tastes metallic to me. Mm -hmm. Oh I yeah, feel like, perfect. I feel like I'm eating my fork. That's a great way to put it. Wow. No thank you. I'll show you to the door. I feel like we're eating these in a sauna. Man, dude, Ugh. you nailed that with the metallic. Scorpion pepper is so metallic. It doesn't taste like food. I'm so glad I could eat mine in one bite. Taking multiple bites at it seems horrible. I feel like I haven't been hit by heat like this in a while. Ice cube, thank you. Love the scotch bonnet, scorpions too much. Shut it perfectly. That was uncalled for. That was too, that was too much. I don't know how well we'd do in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh -uh. One more ice cube. Yeah, I'll have one too. All right, before we go ahead and pick our favorite sauce of the four of these, let's do a shout out. Should put her in the video real quick while she's calm. I'm in. Oh no. We got a new dog. Everybody, meet Farfa Nugan. <laughs> Farley, Queen Farley, the Lord of Freckles. She's really bad. Farfic Nugan. <laughs> She's really bad. This is this is way better than having milk after hot sauce. Just be around a cool dog. She's only calm right when she comes out of naps. She's a camera whore. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> She's so cute. I got a vlog about how we got her on the channel, my personal channel. I'd promote it better if my mouth wasn't fried. Merch out of merch out of merch out out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some merch and it is awesome. We got our own hot sauce, not as hot as this stuff, and also some really cool shirts. You probably saw it a second ago on a homeless girl's shirt, number six with cheese shirt. We've got all kinds of different versions of that. And also, if you buy anything, um, we're gonna give you a shout out. And if you buy two things, we're gonna jump to the front of the line. So we're gonna do uh, some shout outs for people who are part of the fuck. First up, program means they bought more than one item. Here it comes. Merch shot number one goes to Mr. Chris McKay. Woo! Chris bought three Sixer sauces and a koozie, which we now have in black. Chris, thank you so much. Merch shot number two goes to Mr. Jason Green. Woo! Jason bought uh, three bottles of the Sixer sauce. Much love, I hope you loved it. Um, we sent those out to Bloomington, Illinois. Ooh. If you guys want anything from our merch store, go to number 6 cheesecom You'll see it all listed. Seriously, go pick it up. Not only does it help support us, but we got some awesome apparel and the hot sauce is so delicious. All right, Corey Wagner, on the count of three, you're gonna pick your favorite hot sauce here from today. The three Scotch Bonnet ones, and then this one that might have actually killed me. <laughs> Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. One, two, three, grab. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. 
Yay! Yeah. Yeah. That's the Beck Calypso. Calypso I get. That's really why cool. it's their flagship. The yep. thing is, my second favorite was this one. I was gonna say that was my second favorite too. That was really good. Uh, you really can't go wrong with these first three. Uh, avoid this like the plague. That's for freaks. If you like, if honestly you're so numb to everything in life and you need something to feel something again, like maybe quarantine's really got you down, but chug this, you'll yeah, feel bro. something. Your choices are like that or heroin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rock, paper, scissors. All right. One, two, three, shoot. Boom, nice and easy, dumb. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. One. Oh, I got excited that I won. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. I got it in the head, baby. Which I'm gonna, gonna go, go this. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this. And I'm gonna throw this away. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is, should I seriously throw this away? This is too hot for anybody, right? I mean, I'm not gonna eat it. Unless I like make a vat of chili in an Olympic sized pool. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any. I was like, this. you better start saying large containers. <laughs> and then you went real large. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for brand new videos on this channel. Sorry my face melted off and I wasn't the host that I feel like I normally am. Oh my god, sure! I'm on my second beer of this episode. I'll have a drink. Dude, like, because people do those big. Like, I think it would be really cool to make an Olympic sized pool of chili. If we got to be a YouTube channel that did, like, big things like that. Like, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna save this. <laughs>